Hello all my beautiful audience mixes. Welcome back to another extreme video. In today's extreme video, guys, I actually want to do something different. Uh so basically, uh like a couple days ago, I went to this very, very sketchy uh dollar store. I don't know how to explain it. But basically the kind of I guess gimmick with the store is that every single day the prices go lower. So say like on Friday the price is five dollars. Then on Saturday, the price is, I don't know, $6. And then Sunday, it's $4. And it goes down like that. So I thought, why not? I think it would be kind of cool to pick out three things that I think are interesting and go ahead and review them. I think that'd be pretty fun. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things I got. No, I didn't get but anyways guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the top three things I bought at a sketchy dollar store thrift shop. I don't know. Oh, and also one more thing. Uh, for this video, since I'm gonna be like, I guess, reviewing products, I also got a hand cam. Yeah. So now you guys can see my hands and uh, yeah, everything should be in frame. Nice. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get on with the first product, which uh... I'm kind of skeptical about <laughs> So the first product I got is a webcam. Now, at this store, they have like a bunch of webcams there. But I went ahead and picked out this one for two reasons. For one, this was really the only uh, webcam that I can find that actually had a brand on it. For some reason, a lot of like the webcams there didn't actually have like a brand on it. Uh, I don't know why, it even adds to the sketchiness, but I just thought it was cool. And the second reason that I wanted to get this one was because it didn't actually come in a packaging. I bought it exactly like this. <laughs> Just open packaging. I thought, what the heck? You know, what's the worst that could happen? So, uh, yeah, let's plug this up to my $2,000 PC. Oh my God. Alrighty, I plugged it up and now it has the little red thing on it, as you can see right there. So, uh, let me go in and just turn it on, I guess. And here we, oh boy. You know what, I'll be perfectly honest though, it honestly isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Now sure, it's a bit brighter than I thought it would be. Like a lot of the colors, like like Juan back there looks extremely bright. But I mean like, honestly, other than that, it honestly, does not look as bad as I thought it would. So as you guys can see right here, it has the little thing right there to tell you it's on, and then it has a little, I guess, light to tell you that it's working. I don't know, <laughs> honestly don't know. Oh my God, I just realized I had my <laughs> butt in my ear this entire time. It's how comfortable they are actually. Uh, I didn't even know they were in my ear. Also not sponsored. <laughs> so on my honest rating, I don't actually think it's that bad. Now I, got this webcam for four dollars and in my honest opinion for four dollars i don't think it's that bad i really don't so in my rating i give this web camera i'd give it a seven out of ten a solid seven out of ten i think would be a great rating for this webcam all right next product all righty now i'm sure a lot of you have seen that uh nes classic system that i think they released like maybe a year or two ago and you probably have also seen a lot of those knockoff versions of those said consoles well i got one <laughs> this ladies and gentlemen is the mini game anniversary edition entertainment system now the funny thing about these knockoff consoles is that they can't use the word nintendo because they'll get sued so they instead use the word entertainment system <sighs> really dodged a bullet there guy built in 620 classic games nstl pal employed university 620 classic games built in now you hear that and you think wow 620 games that that sounds like a steal but then you actually look at the games and uh yeah, they're not the best. Also, before we actually like move on to the actual games, I just want to point out this little text down here in the bottom right is my favorite thing of this entire this entire thing. Classic Games Collection contains Super Mario, Contra, 
and Rico Cuneo series, whoever that is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series, etc. games list. Okay. You don't have to game card. Download. <laughs> you don't have to game card. Download. What? What? Download what? You said the games are built into the console. What do I have to download? What? Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. All right, so let's just let, let's just freaking unbox this, man. I'm so excited. So when we actually like open up the box, it does actually come with everything, which I was actually pretty surprised about. It comes with two controllers right here. It comes with uh, AV cables for your TV if you even have AV these days, which. Let's be honest, who does? Comes with a little power adapter for the actual console and the big, uh, daddy, no. The big boy console itself, the any, no, the entertainment system. This feels so cheap. All right, so let me just rattle off a couple of um, complaints I have with it and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so my first complaint that I have is the power and reset buttons are uh, sw uh if you can ever focus the power and reset buttons are swapped now usually you go is that that's fine you big baby it's it's not like this <laughs> and sure for someone else yeah it's fine but for me personally that's th that's gonna annoy me for a while not having the power button next to the light like who does that? The power button's supposed to be next to the light so you know that it turns on the power. Not the reset button. Why is the reset button next to the light? My second complaint that I have with the mini console is it feels cheap. No, you're gonna say, Xavier, you got it for $5. Of course it's gonna be cheap. And yeah, that's a very valid point. But this feels overwhelmingly cheap. Like, if I just shake it... I don't know how well you can hear that, but something's rattling in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's supposed to make that sound. <laughs> and my final complaint that I actually have with this is... That that, that shape is, does not fit in that hole. This is obviously a rectangle. When this is obviously a pentagram. Is that a pentagram? I don't know. Editing me. Tell me if I was right or wrong, but make it look like I was right so I seem smart. Okay. Thanks. But anyways, that's the actual console itself. Let's go and take a look at the controllers now. I will admit though, I do like how neatly everything is packaged. Uh, it's very nice and convenient. So this is the actual controller. Of course, they couldn't afford the Nintendo at the top because they'll get sued. But in terms of the controller, it's actually not as bad as I thought. The buttons are pretty clicky and it doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would for some reason. The buttons feel all right and the D-pad may be a bit stiff, but it still functions better than I thought it would. And finally, the probably the craziest thing in this entire thing is the 620 games list. Now, I can already tell you from my previous experience with these cheap consoles, a lot of these are repeat games. There are not 620 games. There are probably 400 games in here. And the other 220 are repeats of the previous game. So do not expect 620 games. Expect around 300 to 400 games. Which, yes, still is a lot. But I think it's more quantity over quality with a lot of these games. Anyways, enough complaining. Enough whining. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up. I need to borrow that TV. Hey, Juan. Could I use your TV? Why do you need my TV? Well, I'm trying to hook up this cheap little mini console and I need your TV because it's the only TV in here. Oh, well in that case, no. Please, j just for a little bit, alright? And then I'll give your TV back and then you can go back to walking in place or whatever the heck you're doing. No, this is my TV, I'm not letting you use it. <gasps> so you will? I just decided. <sighs> Perfect, This man. is Thank my so TV. Much. I see, swear, see, Xavier, if you touch my power so button, see, I will break both your ankles. You better not. Don't you die. something for once. Uh, see, 
He's such a reasonable guy. All right, I think I got it hooked up. And... It's not working. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of like play and uh, commentate at the same time. It's gonna be a little tricky, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, I mean, it definitely... Let me turn that down. That is so much. So, it, it definitely works. Uh, audio's there. What game should we try? Ma what? Mario 14. Let's do it. Uh, Princess Peach? Is that Princess Peach? Okay. Okay. Who are you? That doesn't look like Bowser. That. Oh, okay. She sends. Dang. She, that's a good paper airplane for it to fly like that. Okay. And he caught it. All right, he's reading it. He. All right. He thinks about the princess. And then he transformed into Mario. This makes total sense. All right, push start. All right, so it's actually working. Uh, okay, ouch. It's actually, oh, wow, okay, yeah. You remember Mario 14 where Mario was a ninja? Yeah, me too. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from these stupid turtles. Why are these turtles so fat? Look how fast these turtles are. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, it does control though. I mean, I'm using the buttons. It has a pause menu. What else more could you want? Okay, how do I... How do I get out? How do I... How do I leave? Reset. Ah, okay. So you have to press reset on the actual console in order to go back to the games. Alright. Uh, one last game. Let's do... Let's do Donkey Kong 1. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the volume for y'all. The music stopped. Alright, one player. I'm gonna go save the princess. Alright, I mean, it honestly does work pretty well. Yeah, get out of your stupid fire. It honestly does work pretty well. I died. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, it actually does work honestly, uh, fairly well, honestly. Better than I expected. I died again. How, why was the barrel going that way? Better than I expected. Seven out of ten. Actually, I take that back. Six out of ten. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, you big baby. You're always whining and crying about being on TV. Hey, look, there you are. See, was it really that bad? Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, you're big baby. You'll get over it. Anyways, guys, let's go and move on to the next product. Your vid suck. What'd you say? Alrighty, guys, now, the next and final product, I don't have an explanation for i just saw it and i thought hey that looked cool and interesting and funny to do in a video i'll get it uh so when i show you this product please don't think of me differently all right this is hello talking hamster as you can tell by the box it's a very serious product. Why did I buy this? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, the guy's back lawn mowing, so if you hear him, um... Sorry. Anyways, let's go and take a look at the box, huh? So, Talking Hamster repeats what you say. Hello. Hi. Ages 3 and up, so I'm in the target demographic. How to use. Install three AAA batteries and replace the cover, okay? Keep the switch in on position and talk to it. It will repeat everything you say. Keep the switch in off position when not use it. The switch is on the bottom. Okay, thank God they told me that. I would have been looking for that switch everywhere in my entire life. I wouldn't have stopped looking for that switch until uh, I died, so... Good thing they told me that, because I would have been so lost. Also, I need a knife, because it, it's all sealed up, so, uh... 
I'm gonna go get a knife and batteries. I'll be back. I've retrieved the items. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Chop, 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 chop. I really hope I didn't stab my hamster. <laughs> eh, he's fine. He can talk. Chop, 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 chop. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? This is gonna be amazing. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. Guys, it's a talking hamster. I now officially own a talking hamster i never i never thought this day would come i thought i would go my entire life without having a talking hamster but today is not that day my hair is so messy oh my god all right anyways enough joking around let's actually take a look at this talking hamster so honestly it actually is pretty soft uh it does feel kind of quality i'll be honest his arms uh aren't really stuffed they kind of feel like uh actually this whole thing doesn't feel very stuffed the only thing that's stuffed right now is his face which uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put him back because he looks so weird like that. But yeah, honestly, it does feel kind of nice. It feels really soft. It looks like a hamster, which I think uh, kind of needed to be. But all in all, it does actually feel pretty good. Okay, so on the bottom, oh my god, I need a screwdriver! Or... Stand still, little hamster. This shouldn't hurt a bit. All right, all done. Now all I do is pull this apart and it. What? It already came with batteries in it. Wait, you're telling me this whole time it already had batteries in it? What? You guys saw it. It was sealed up. I couldn't have put these batteries in. So you're telling me. I went all the way downstairs to look for a bad for batteries and they, they were just in here the entire time. <laughs> all right, you talking hamster, you better be cool. I spent 10 minutes looking for batteries when I didn't even need battery. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Is it on? Hello? He hello? How are you doing? Can you talk? It says on the box, talking hamster. I need to know if you can talk. Can you talk? I'm pretty sure the batteries in it are actually dead. <laughs> so I did need the batteries. <laughs> All right, take off the cover and Put in the batteries. All right, I put the actual new batteries in, and now it's time for the actual grand reveal. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Hello? Uh -huh. Hi. Hello. <sighs> oh. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up! <laughs> it worked. What's your name? Hey. No, what's your name? No, what's your name? No, you. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. 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 Yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Alright. Hey. Listen to me. We're gonna play Simon Says. We're gonna play Simon Says. Alright? Right. And if you repeat, you repeat what I say, yeah. you're, I'm gonna take the batteries out of you. Yeah, I'm gonna take the batteries out. That wasn't exactly what I said. Okay, ready? Are, are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, say, repeat me if that's a yes. Repeat me if that's a yes. Okay, well, that's a yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shut up! <laughs> 
All right, Simon says bounce up and down. All right, all right, not bad. Just realized I should probably put them up here for you. Shut up! All right, Simon says bounce up and down. All right, now Simon says don't be a, a hamster. All right, guys, that was the talking. Shut up! That was the talking hamster. All right, guys, so that was the talking hamster, and that was also the end of my products that I bought. If you guys did enjoy this video and want me to review more products in the future, like, I'll go to, like, I don't know, like, a, more dollar stores or different stores and see what I can find to make a video on, please let me know by leaving a like down below and commenting. That will be super appreciated if y'all do. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace! Hi. Hi. What's up? Yeah. Xavier is really cool. Xavier is really. R really what? Really what? No, you really what? You really No, no, you said I'm really what, huh? Huh? You wanna go, man? Let's go right now. Man, let's go right now. You wanna go, man? Oh, hold up. I need I need to put you on something. You wanna go up? Let's go. No, yeah, you wanna go? Man, man, man.